Welcome to YouTube Excel Magic Trick number 99. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook Excel Magic Tricks 91 to 99. Hey, trick number 99, we're going to do something straight forward, but we're going to do it three different ways with if, max, and min. Now, the setup here is we have some sales and sales hurdles, and we just want to calculate how much did we go over the sales hurdle? So this person right here, the sales hurdle was 500, and they got 1,000, so they should be over by 500. Let's do it with if first. I'm going to highlight all the cells, and in the light colored cell up at the top, I'm going to say equals if. If your sales are greater than the sales hurdle, in that case, then your sales minus the hurdle. Otherwise, zero, close parentheses. Now, those are all relative cell references. So because I have all the cells highlighted, I can hold Control and hit Enter. And there, very quickly, we can see it calculates a zero here because we're not over the sales hurdle. By the way, if you hit F9, this is our randomizing uh, formulas there. Now, let's do it with max. Let's highlight the whole cells. And in the light colored cell at the top, equals MAX. The max of what? Either this, your sales, minus the hurdle, comma, zero. So it's either going to take the max of your sales minus the hurdle or zero. So when you're positive, it'll take the positive. But when you're below, like in the case right here, you're way below. That would be a negative number, so it would take the zero, which is bigger. It's the max of a negative and a positive. Control, Enter. Amazing. Now let's do a slight variation. Let's do the min. How much are they under the hurdle? We'll use min equals min, open parentheses. We want to take the min of your sales again, minus the sales hurdle, comma, zero, close parentheses. So this is how much are they under. So in this case, they're going to be under, so that negative number is smaller than zero. When you're above, then it will properly take choose between a positive number and a zero, it'll take zero because zero is smaller than a positive number. And that will mean that you're not, you are over the hurdle, you are not under. Control Enter. You can see how it does just the opposite. Here it's calculating how much you're above. Here it's calculating how much you're below. I'm going to hit F9, F9. All right, uh, that's trick number 99. And that's a little warmer for trick 100 coming up later that'll employ min and max together in a really amazing formula. All right, see you next Excel trick.